Hey everybody, this is Fergbot from twitch.tv slash Fergbot, and this is my pillow list tutorial. In this video, I'll be going through each input required to do pillow lists, and I will also show some common mistakes that can happen and what you can do to correct them. Now, before I go into detail, I want to say up front that this trick is fairly difficult and should probably not be attempted by beginners. It requires frame-perfect timing and bomb glitch proficiency. To start the trick, press C down to change your camera immediately after entering the level. Then jump kick towards the bomb on your right by pressing A then B a few moments after. Now, when you reach the bomb, Make sure your control stick is neutral before you land, then press B to grab the bomb. The neutral control stick prevents you from diving. After you grab the bomb, hold down left on the control stick and throw the bomb while jumping, similar to the second jump of the bomb clip. This is done by pressing A then B very quickly. Right before the bomb lands, you want to grab the bomb at a specific time, which will start the bomb glitch. Yes. The bomb will be a specific size depending on how late you grab it, which can affect the difficulty of Pillarless. I will go into more detail later in the video. The bigger the bomb, the faster Mario moves. After you grab the bomb, you want to jump off the white platform and hold forward so that you start sliding on the top of the sand hill. When you start sliding down the sand hill, press A and B at the same time and hold down right to dive. This activates a glitch that lets you double jump with the bomb and makes the bomb last much longer. After you dive, make sure to press C right since this sets up the angle to the pyramid. For this next part, you will slide back up the hill then slide down again. When sliding up the hill, hold upright to align yourself correctly. While sliding down, hold down right to keep that alignment. When you reach the bottom, press A to jump, hold up left, then press A again when you land to double jump. The goal is to get over the sand hill. However, note that you can't double jump on slopes, so you may have to adjust your movement so that you land on the flat part of the sand. Once you clear the sand hill, press Z to ground pound. Make sure to keep your control stick neutral after the first ground pound until you reach the pyramid. In this next part, I try to land on the patch of sand where the one up is. Once you land, do a single jump off that patch and ground pound again. After the second ground pound, press C right and double tap A while going up the quicksand pit to do a glitchy double jump. Almost immediately after the glitchy double jump, press Z to do another ground pound. Finally, hold upright and tap A repeatedly to get up the pyramid. When you are in line with the top of the pyramid star, press A then Z almost immediately afterward to ground pound one last time and clip through the pyramid. Here's a few tips and tricks you may want to keep in mind while attempting pillowless. This first tip deals with the angle that you slide down the sand hill at, which is very important to get to the right spot on the pyramid. This is probably the part that I had the most difficulty with while learning pillarless. This angle mostly comes with experience and practice. This picture shows the perfect angle in order to get the, to the correct part of the pyramid. This is immediately before the first jump at the bottom of the sand hill. Here you'll see what happens if your angle is too far left. This can also happen if your angle is too far left. Here's what happens if your angle is too far right. It is possible to make it this way, but it's much harder because it's a lot harder to ground pound in the quicksand. Yeah. 
Here's another quick tip I forgot to mention. If you miss the bomb throw at the beginning, just go left until the bomb respawns, press C left, and then press C right on the white platform. This next tip shows the visual cue I use for the glitchy double jump. There is a small line where the hexagonal sand pit meets the sand pit surrounding the pyramid. You should try to double tap A when Mario is right before this line so he double jumps off the line. Here's what happens if you attempt the double jump too early. Here's what happens if you attempt the double jump too late. Here is the difference between the biggest bomb possible and the next biggest bomb. In the picture above, the biggest is shown on the left and the smaller one is shown on the right. Let's go. This video shows an attempt at pillarless with the smaller bomb. It is possible to get pillarless with the small bomb, but it is much more difficult since you don't have a lot of sleep. This picture shows the approximate point that you want to ground pound at the top of the pyramid in order to clip through and go in the loading zone. The top of the pyramid star is a good reference. If you ground pound too high, you will go through the top and miss the loading zone. If you ground pound too low, you won't clip through the pyramid. It is usually better to ground pound low since if you don't clip, you get another shot at the ground pound. Here's an example of what can happen if you ground pound too high on the pyramid. It's also possible to get lucky and to the top of the pyramid, but not go in the water. This is what happens if you do the first ground pound too early. It's still possible to make pillarless with this, but it's much harder. Here's what happens if you do the second ground pound too early. Here's what happens if you don't ground pound early enough on the third ground pound. During the first bomb punch, you want to make sure that you avoid this box because you can get stuck on it as seen in this video. During the first part of Pillarless, make sure that you avoid the slope parts of the white platform. You will lose the bomb if you jump off those parts. That's all for my tutorial video. Thanks for watching everybody, and make sure to follow twitch.tv slash birdbot for more Mario speedrunning action.